All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know, we, I, there's some things coming on at LDS Hospital we got to talk about today, and there's so many things that they're doing there that help make surgery so much easier for the patient. There's this a machine called the, the Da Vinci machine. Makes things a lot better for everyone who has to go and get some really big surgeries done. Let's check it out. If you can't tell by my fashionable outfit I'm wearing, this is called the bunny suit. I'm inside the OR here at LDS Hospital, and I'm standing next to what they call the Da Vinci robot. See those little movements right there? This is one of the breakthroughs in some of the cool, awesome tools they have here at LDS Hospital. When they're doing surgery on you or someone that you love, this is one of the really awesome resources they have here to be able to help you recover a lot better, a lot quicker. The guy behind it right here, Dr. Nate Richards, one of the first surgeons to perform a pancreatic surgery using this awesome robot. So is that right, Dr. Richards? You know, in the state of Utah, yeah, it is. I always got to clarify, just a little bit. There's a lot of great surgeons out there that do it, uh, you know, back east and a couple in California. Right. So um, obviously, we don't hang out with this, this robot every day. It's something you work with all the time. Why is this robot so important to medical field, to surgery, to helping people get better? It's a great question. I think the robot typically is going to allow us to do surgeries that we couldn't do otherwise. Like you know? what? Well, so for example, pancreas surgery you bring up. Typically, a pancreas surgery is going to require about a 12-inch incision that goes kind of from stem to stern, right down so the belly. from here to here? Exactly. It typically requires quite a while to recover from, uh, about a month, really, of pain and kind of discomfort. Whereas using the robot, I can essentially do the surgery from the inside through a small incision, the biggest of which is about two and a half, three centimeters, um, and then a couple of others just so I can put my tools in. Um, that gets the patients feeling better faster. They typically have less pain, they recover faster, and they get on with their lives much quicker than they would otherwise. So what's that comparison? So in say, if you weren't using this tool, how much would the recovery be if you were? or vice versa? Uh, typical open or non-minimally invasive or non-robotic surgery, you're usually gonna be in pain for about two weeks. You're not able to do much lifting other than about 10 pounds. Um, you're typically gonna be limited in what you can do. Um, with the minimally invasive surgery, you're gonna be able to get back to work you know, faster, sometimes within a week. Uh, really? Yeah. So really, it's like cutting that time in half here. It can be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the name of the robot is the Da Vinci. Correct. Why do you call it Da Vinci? Well, the company calls it the Da Vinci after it's, you know, clearly a revolutionary instrument that we can use to sometimes make things safer, uh, certainly make it more efficient. And, and we use it when it's the right thing to do. You use it. I'm just kind of watching you here for a couple of seconds before you, you watching you work it is kind of like a... I don't know, it's like a game or something like that almost, like a joystick. It often gets compared to video games. It's very much like a virtual reality type um, scenario where I'm operating while sitting. However, I'm controlling the instruments. I'm 100% in control and they're inside the patient. Can you show us how it works a little sure. bit? Yeah, absolutely. Right. So this is the controls here for Da Vinci, right? So what I'm gonna do is you can see these two instruments down in here, this is where I'm gonna put my fingers and I, it basically it works off a clutch mechanism. And then I look through these uh, goggles up here that give me a nice 3D uh, view. And so when I get my head closer here. And then while you're operating the controls, we can actually see that playing out over here on the operating table behind us. Right. And I can move the camera in closer and I can move it farther away. But the main advantage to the robot is as you'll see these instruments have wrists on them. They are basically enable me to use the instruments as if they were my hands inside of the belly. Um, as opposed to some of the other techniques, the laparoscopic techniques, the instruments are like this, they're chopsticks and, and you can't necessarily bend them. Um, that's one of the advantages. Right, so you've obviously got some great technology here and it helps you guys with surgery. If you want help to give people a better idea for how this works, they want to learn more about the benefits, who it can be used for, those types of things, where should people go? That's a great question. You know, here at LDS Hospital, we're setting up web pages. We're, we're doing, you know, things like that to give the patient uh, population a, a resource. There's all sorts of stuff out there on Google. Dr. Google sometimes is good, sometimes is bad. Um, but certainly, you know, through the Intermountain website, uh, intermountain.com, um, or intermountainhealthcare.com, we can do that. All right, and of course, we'll have more information on our website at ABC for Utah's website with Good Things Utah. Back to you.